One of uh, Victoria's top arts patrons is preparing to celebrate his 80th birthday with a fundraiser for three local creative companies. Eric Charman says that it's an opportunity for him to put the chair in charity. Well, I've often been called Chairman Charman, and today when I arrive here to find out what they've done, I was surprised. Quite frankly, I'm excited. If you had to describe yourself as a chair, what kind of a chair would you be? Oh, I think I'd be a very hard and difficult chair for anybody to sit on. They wouldn't be allowed to take a comfortable way and become a couch potato, as some people are known, because they'd have to get out and work for the community, which I've enjoyed doing. His birthday gala will feature an auction of chairs by 15 prominent BC artists. Chairman says that his only birthday wish is to raise $300,000 for the Victoria Conservatory of Music, the Symphony and Pacific Opera. Eric, interestingly, is one of the most decorated volunteers in the country. He has the Order of Canada that Rush recognizes his work. He has the Governor General's Award for volunteerism in the performing arts because he has, for 50 years, been among the most distinguished arts volunteers in this country. And what a marvelous, fortunate thing for Victoria that he's here with us. The Eric Charman Charity Gala will also feature a grazing supper and a music concert. It's being staged March 4th at Victoria's McPherson Playhouse. Well, the Art Gallery Greater Victoria is making the private public. Its latest exhibit is a showcase of the remarkable work usually on display in the homes of local collectors. We have some really astute collectors here. They know what they're doing and they know what they love. Victoria is in a u unique position that we have a lot of people that move here from the other less desirable parts of Canada and they bring their collections and their passions with them. The Victoria Collects exhibit features 60 pieces from the collection of 20 local art lovers. It's your chance to see work ranging from that Warhol to this Rembrandt, from a Mondrian to an E.J. Hughes. Its curator says it's also an opportunity to hear the stories behind the collections. We have uh, collectors who only collect from a certain area. They, they collect all Dutch art or we have collectors that collect mainly new artists, artists that are up and coming, and their whole goal is to support new artists. And then we have someone who, as a little boy, was an orphan and had nothing, and he visited a home in England and saw this fancy lady's art and decided right then and there, when he was about eight years old, that he was gonna grow up and be an art collector. Hughes will be hosting a curator's tour on Thursday night. Then on Sunday, the exhibit's the focus of the hands-on family event. You can find details at aggv.ca.